What's up y'all, you got Dana here. Sorry this video is a little bit late. I wanted to do this video around the start of the football season, but I just not never got around to it. It's not too late now, we're in the midst of football season, so. And these are the rules of cuffing season. If you haven't already got your prime free agent, please feel free to take these rules and guidelines and use them to find a prime candidate to carry you through to jump off season in spring break or at the latest Memorial Day. First things first, scout other places than the club. I know that it's you know much, much easier to meet women out at parties, bars, and clubs, but more often times than not, the chicks that you're gonna meet at the club are either kinda young or are party girls and aren't down with the cuffs to begin with. So a couple of good places to meet women aside from the club would be the gym. If you're in school, at your school's library or like community center, if your campus is big enough and has one. Um, definitely community centered events in your town or city. If your town has like a block party or some sort of family style event, they're prime candidates everywhere. You just gotta find them in the crowd. Trust me, they're out here. Um, definitely the next thing, make sure to get to know the chick or the guy that you plan on cuffing this season. Guys will cuff something that's cute, sexy with a fat ass, but don't take the time to get to know her and may end up cuffing a psycho. Even worse, you need to find out if the chick can cook and if she's worth hanging around because chances are if you're going to be cuffing this season anyway you're going to be in the crib a lot so it's really important that she's got indoor qualities that match her outdoor qualities make sure she can cook something you know make sure she you know has good dvr game and can plug in shows that you'll want to watch these things are important next thing definitely is be the one doing the cuffing don't get cuffed because the person who cuffs gets control. Um, for women, this rule is a little lax and you don't necessarily have to be the one to cuff. If uh, you're smart enough, you can get yourself out of that situation anyway. But men in particular, it's really important that you're the one doing the cuffing because at the end of the day, you're the one that's in control. Um, it's important that at the end of the cuffing season, you can go ahead and make a clean break. You know, and it's a lot easier to do if you're the one who initiates the cuffing. The Next thing place. is, Limit the amount of time that you spend together to two nights a week. Anything more and you're teetering into the territory of boo status and eventual relationship status. And it's really important to keep in mind that cuffing season is essentially just an extended fuck buddy. So there's no need to start complicating things. And this next thing follows suit into what I just talked about, which is don't hang out with the person with the person's friends you know hang with your friends let them hang with their friends and you don't misconstrue the lines ever when you do that um mixing friendships and things like that can really fuck up the boundaries confuse people and lead to heartache either on your part their part or on both of yours parts so it's important that you just keep that out of the equation all together. Do not, under any circumstances, participate in unprotected sex. Please, 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 please use condoms. The last thing that you need off your cuff is some shit you can't get rid of or an 18 to 21 year bid all because you got caught up and was lost in sauce. It's not that serious, okay? Um, it doesn't matter if she tells you she, she's got paperwork, doesn't matter if she tells you she's on the pill, on Mirena, on Nuvarine, has dental dams up her fucking crotch and just can't get pregnant. There's no need to play Russian roulette with your dick fellas, like for real. Just wrap it up. Just wrap it up. That's just a rule of life. Just Don't to forget to take up. these rules and guidelines and use them wisely to find a prime candidate this particular cuffing season. Don't forget that cuffing season ends around spring break at the latest Memorial Day. And uh, if you've got any other rules for cuffing season, be sure to leave them down in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. My channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.